So this is kind of how the Tesla gun turned out. I sort of just had a bootleg little container on there as you can see. Realized all I really needed was the handle part and the battery compartment connection to, uh, to make the drill thing work. Couldn't quite fit this circuit in the housing because uh, I had to scrap the other one I built. That one just was a little funky. It didn't work right. I've got so many of these damn circuits I made I don't have enough coils for them so I just figured I'd use one of these I had laying around that worked pretty good on this coil. So I decided to just run it off straight 20 volts. Uh, this is an older battery. <clears throat> it's probably a little crappy but should work fine. Maybe I'll get another one. But there's no boost stage, so I'm just relying on the tuning to get the decent arcs. You can see I've just got this set up to where, as the other ones are, I can just freely adjust the uh, BPS and the on time. It's kind of hard to get a scale on here, but it's actually not that big. This was a pretty tiny drill compared to every other drill I've got. It's using the same circuit as before the only change is i just don't have these zeners on there that's just something random i threw on there the only problem i've had with this circuit is some of them these uh drain capacitors here are working very hard by using really cheap caps they just overheated started crapping out over time and what might happen is they'll just cause your MOSFETs to just die. You probably want to use a very high quality film capacitor, pulse capacitor. As far as grounding this, I've just run the uh, bottom of the secondary out to the negative rail. But I've also tied it to this aluminum tape strip here. This, I mean, you could run this thing for a really long time. That's not going to overheat. So I could have put a toggle switch on there, but I put the momentary because I, I don't want it to run without that hand grounding it. So you're basically using your body to ground it in this setup, uh, which seems to work all right. Earth ground, you know, probably work a little better. If you had one, you could use it, throw like a clip on there or something, but if not, that'll be fine. Don't want to have like gloves on, I guess. Could have made it a little more sleek, you know, some, a little better suited container and not as blocky, but I mean, whatever, I don't really care. I slide the primary down some like so and get the more branchy discharge
of course, the reason I allow a fully adjustable on time is because uh, you can cut it up pretty damn high. So, I mean, it spits out a thick bush. Pretty damn thick bush. Of course, you got to see if it'll start a fire. I mean, I already know it will. You just turn up the on time enough, but, uh, you know, certain arcs, I guess depends on how you do it, you probably do it with this setting like this. <laughs> That's one way to do it. Oh, and that's smoking. Wish I seen a roach right now. See if it'll hit this fluorescent light. It's like the only fluorescent I've got. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn. That actually lights that up. Good ways away. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Those are LEDs, I think. Hell yeah. Hit a set an incandescent bulb. So yeah, these things are pretty damn fun. I, I played with it for a while, and uh, the heat sink never got warm enough to try to kick the fan on, so it's still, it's like barely warm. That fan's there because, you know, as you can see, I can turn the duty pretty much all the way up and run it continuous wave off that 20 volt. I'm not sure how long I could run it like that. I feel like I'm probably overworking the capacitors by doing that. Uh, but I probably, uh, for short periods, I can. That's why I got the push button. So <laughs> if you really want to start a fire, <laughs> turn the duties like go all the way up and hit it with that straight bush but as soon as it makes contact pulling a flame you're, you might risk exploding these bad boys i don't know maybe maybe not it's real handy in that regard not having the boost stage just tuning it like this to where i think the output's still pretty good and you can have a lot of fun with it